headline of today is the headline of the day says bandit trick us with their fake repentance just to get money for weapon we will continue to forgive governor Bello. the headline says bandit tricked us with their fake repentance just for them to get money for weapons we will continue to forgive them governor Bello. now great viewers great dear friends this is actually a governor a sitting governor this is actually a sitting governor talking he said that they will forgive the bandit even after pretending to be repented just to get money from them to acquire weapons I don't care what they are going to do with the weapons. You and I know why they are acquiring weapons. But my problem here is that can all these sitting governors in Biafra land, especially the so called Igbo governors in Biafra land, can they tell us what appropriate? did to them that warrant them to invite soldiers to massacre our brothers and sisters both in Obibo, both in Olo, and both in Mazinande Carlos house and both in Onjahe bridge and both in Ukwacha. can they tell us can all these sitting governors like a wiki like they form Mahi. Like if I'm Ukwanyi. Like the so called. Uh, okay, see, Bazo, can they tell us or tell the public what Ipobians did to warrant proscription? Can they tell us what Ipobians did to, to warrant bringing fake Boko Haram soldiers to massacre them in their own land? Because you and I know that. Without the governors agreeing with the federal government, there's no way they can bring soldiers to come and massacre and rape our beautiful sisters in our land. Why I'm saying this is that all of us that call ourselves all this town region should understand this, that nobody is safe in our land. The northerners are busy and northern governors are busy helping their so-called bandit, the criminal himself, they are assassinators themselves, the terrorists themselves, helping them to acquire weapons. Whereas our innocent brothers that did not do anything, they are only moving around with flag, chanting that they want their own nation because Nigeria is no longer working. You, you went outside and asked the federal government to bring soldiers to come and massacre the innocent Apobians. You took their leader to prison, you jailed him, you prescribed him. For no reason. He came again into his house, massacre people that led to his mother and, her, and, and his father's death and other apple members. Upon that, you're not satisfied. You chase him out of his own land. Even after all these things, he's still fighting to restore Biafra, and some people are there criticizing him. Can all these governors tell us one thing they have done for the old eastern region? Forget about this nonsense flyovers and bridge which is building. Is that a factory? Is that a company that is supposed to bring so that people will see work to do? Are we going to eat flyover? Forget about these things Devil Ma is doing in neighboring state. Are we going to eat all those things? We are talking about our brothers and sisters that came out from university. No job, nothing, nothing. Upon that, there is no way forward. Can this governor, sitting governors, tell us what our beautiful sisters and our young sisters at the age of 17, 19, 20, 22 did to them that warned them 
to bring soldiers to lift them from their own homeland to northern land to be raped can they answer these questions can they tell us why they are trying to kick against eastern security network the only outfit that was created by that same man that loved his people so much can this people tell us why they did not see reasons to create a security outfit why Masna and Kala was telling them can that not tell us reason why they are collaborating with the government to make sure they destroy the security outfit that was created by Masna and Kala I can go on on and on and ask these people some little questions what have you done to these sitting governors that want them to do this to us can they tell us from 2011 to date our brothers and sisters they have massacred these are the handwork of the governors the sitting governors who have in all this region it's not about the federal government. The fake my national law cannot force soldiers on them to come to their land to massacre their people. If there is something like that, they themselves personally will raise an alarm. But they are not doing that because they are part and parcel of every soldier in our land today. They, even, they are even the ones that requested for Boko Haram soldiers. At least we have some good soldiers coming from the southern land of the country. Why didn't they deploy the soldiers if there's any reason for that? But they brought the Boko Haram soldiers to come to our land to massacre our people, to rape our women. All these governors must pay for what they have done one by one. Not now, but after they might have finished their tenure. Why I'm saying this? Because whenever I see such headline, I, I bleed, I bleed in my heart. Whenever I see such a line, I bleed. Because Apobians have not done anything wrong to these so-called sitting governors. But for a very long time, they have killed them, they have massacred them, they have raped their women for no reason. This time around, they are raping innocent Igbo women that did not do them anything. That was the handwork of Wiki. And this thing is still going on in Biafra land, especially in Obibo and in Olo. How long are we going to watch and allow these governors to frustrate us? I ask any simple question. The Northerners are busy forgiving their bandits even after lying to them that they have repented. They gave them money, billions of naira. Where is this money coming from? From Biafra land. And they went ahead and used it to buy weapon just to look for other people to kidnap. They are acquiring weapon every day by day. Different type of ammunition. Assorted of rifles. Why the only star security network that was created by this mass eh, to protect our land from hands of such people, our governors will be kicking against it. If, even though they bring police state, I, I, I listened to one place, you know, they're talking about state police. Who are the state police? Is it not the same police they are using before? The corrupt police they will use. We are okay with the state security network. Keep your police, stay police with you. And stay away from our bushes and forests. It cannot deceive us. The North governors are busy equipping their useless bandits and terrorists. Why you just to come on accept our security feet, which is there for you and me, but because you are a criminal. You can never accept it. All these northern governors you are seeing, all of them know what they are doing. But you yourself, do you know, you know what you are doing? Or is it that you are doing because of money, a lot of money coming to your pocket? We cannot continue to live in this way. Our people are the people betraying us. And they are the people that are killing us. Forget about, about uh, this uh, man in Asorok. There is no man in Asorok. Sultan of Sokoto is the man commanding the whole thing you are seeing today. He is the one sending soldiers anywhere we want to go. And he do, he's doing all those things with the help 
and the corroboration of our own sitting governors. Take it or leave it, that is the truth. No federal government can bring soldiers to any place in any state or any region without the governor being aware of it. Of it. But these days, they came, they kill, they rape, they murder, they take some away. And the governor will pretend as if he knows not. Thank God, this time around, the judicial governor accepted that he was the one that brought them into Olo. We can lie, he did not send it to anybody, but the judicial government accepted. Is it not how time will rise up and do the right thing? You and I know the right thing. But when I say it now, you, some of you will start grumbling. Yeah. Start talking this and that. Let us do the right thing before it's too late. We cannot allow the only man who is fighting for us to go down because of these dumbass baggers who call our governors. Great viewers. Thank you so much for listening to this news. I will say please drop your comment in the comment section. Share this and stay blessed. Cheers.